Laini Dar es Salaam. You can see middle lanes have been left for BRT phase 4. Some guy was taking photos. Good morning internet, welcome back. Today we are exploring Victoria area and Makumbusho area. It's rain season here in the restaurant Tanzania 2024. Most of my videos were having 8 to 12 minutes. When I just uh, make a longer video it will be maybe 14 minutes. But for now, I have decided that my videos will be a bit longer. Uh, so that you may continue enjoying this beauty of Africa that is never shown. And these are my last days before going to Nairobi to explore the city of Nairobi and Kenya in general. So you can see some nice buildings with a good architecture. I like the finishing of this house. Have a look. Wow. And this is Bagamoyo Road. This place has really nice buildings. Nice buildings. And nice cars, by the way. Have a look. I think people are working here are very rich. You can see these cars here. Yeah? Vodacom HQ, Vodacom headquarters. I remember when I was in the university, it was my dream office to work before becoming a YouTuber and a content creator. I like the lot to work as a GIS expert at Vodacom. But for now, here I am. The YouTuber and the vlogger are showing the reality on the ground. So by far, that's Morocco. So along this road, we have many headquarters of telecommunication companies. Vodacom, Airtel, Halotel, Tigo. Very beautiful place indeed. Sidewalks. It is almost raining, and my camera is not waterproof. Have a look. And I like the bus stage. So Vodacom are the one who have sponsored decorations of these bus stages. You can see Vodacom bus stage. Amoja to Naweza, and this is Vodacom headquarters. And here, Aznox International Limited, Alpha House, okay. Absa. Yeah, it's quite a developed area indeed. So it is raining. So, like after an hour, uh, the rain has stopped. And we continue with our adventures. So we are still exploring rainy Dar es Salaam. So we have the KFC branch here. KFC branch here. So rain season in Dar es Salaam. So guys, have a look. Laini Dar es Salaam.
very clean roads. You can see middle lanes have been left for BRT phase 4. Construction has started. I saw the construction process along some Nujoma Road. So before going out of Tanzania, let me show you the rest of the rain season. Nice buildings, International Eye Hospital. You have the International Eye Hospital here. So the importance of having sidewalks is this one. During rain season, at least you are, your shoes will still be clean because you won't step on sand. As you can see. We have nice buildings also here. So this is the service road, but we have the sidewalks on the other side. As you can see. Wow. So they are selling some Spanish tires. Some people have been employed to clean roads. Some guy is taking photos. Barrick headquarters. Have a look. So this road has been raised up. Wow. I like the way finishing is being done in many Dar es Salaam buildings. Very nice finishing, indeed. Our apartments here, apartments, it's quite a developed area. From here to the city center is almost seven kilometers, six to seven kilometers. From here to the city center, so it's not a walkable distance. You have to take a bus to go to the city center. But yet, we still have all these developments. I don't know who did this. I think someone got an accident here. So, uh, look at the signage Bagamoyo, Mananyamara Road, Chuaku Road. Have a look. For me, a place to be called a proper city, it should have all amenities of a proper city, including sidewalks, uh, people to sit to board the bus, like this one here. 
proper signage, traffic rights, and you also good sewage system. Then that place I can say it, it is well developed. And I can see many parts of the restaurant nowadays, they are trying their level best. So have a look. Definition of the the book, the city. I think now the major setback or the major problem in this city of Dar es Salaam are Bajaji and Boda Boda. You can see here I'm walking on the side of but if I don't walk carefully, Boda Boda can come from behind me and uh, destroy my attention some beautiful Tanzanian girls wow. very beautiful place indeed so I was saying the major setback in this city of Dar es Salaam nowadays Despite of the government to construct these sidewalks and all this sewage system, but border border, Bajaji sometimes use this place for people to walk freely at their road. And they are doing it confidently. Maybe the government will come, maybe the government will come with a plan to solve this issue, but I can see nowadays it's a very a uh, big issue that is uh, distracting the organization of the Islam. what I was saying. You can see what I was saying. Border border using sidewalks yeah. at their road. This is the major problem actually here in Dar es Salaam nowadays. Maybe the government will come up with a plan to solve this issue. But for myself, this is the biggest problem that we are facing, especially we pedestrians in Dar es Salaam. As a pedestrian, this weather is very conducive to walk around because it's not too hot like other days. So it is fine. You can even walk five kilometers. Definition of a above the city. Having sidewalks, proper sewage system, people following rules, traffic lights, and wide roads. Then you can call that place a developed city. A developed city is not a city that you have to construct more flyovers, having many cars, no. Such like facilities make the city to look more modern and developed. And that's what I like about. I would like the world at Islam to be like that. The government did a good job in constructing street roads, especially this area, Mwananyamala, Makumbusho, Putari. So some restaurants here. They are selling Futari. When you visit Dar es Salaam, one of the things that you like the most is food. This city has a plenty and healthy traditional foods. I'm sure you are going to enjoy food of Dar es Salaam and Tanzania in general.
have arrived at my destination today uh, let me end the video here so these are one of my last videos before exploring Nairobi another city in East Africa the restaurant can't wait when this load will have the BRT system installed already my people don't forget to subscribe you know my channel has a lot of viewers more than 1.5 million views now but subscribers 6,000 so you can see many people are watching silently and do not like to subscribe like and share the video the only thing you can contribute now which is free you just subscribe into this channel at least you might take your channel to 10,000 subscribers because imagine having all those views but with less subscribers it is good because YouTube pay you because of views but subscribers also are good to attract and to encourage uh, to encourage me continue doing this work so don't forget to subscribe just subscribe The restaurant, 2024. It's nice buildings.